I'm sorry if there's a, a giant watermark. I had to do a lot of editing because I did do the walking video and I'm gonna show that first before I explain how cerebral palsy has affected my life. Um, but I just wanted to talk first about my cerebral palsy specifically because not everyone walks the same, looks the same, uh, has the same kind of cerebral palsy that I have, although spastic diplegia is pretty common, um, like especially the, the spastic part, but that just means um, my muscle tone is tighter than it should be, and diplegia means that it's in my legs, both legs. Um, my arms are fine for the most part, although I do have some fine motor skill issues, like I can't open lockers to save my life. Uh, that was shit in high school. I really hated that. Um, so I'm gonna let you see the walking video, and then I'll explain more. So the real question is, how has cerebral palsy not affected my life? Um, especially because in middle school I was bullied heavily for it. Um, but like up until that point, I don't think I realized I was different from other kids. Um, I still can't see how I'm different. I know that sounds weird, but it's like I don't see myself walking every day. So I didn't know I looked that stupid. <laughs> um, or, you know, being in a wheelchair, you know, like when just seeing how other people walk and like, oh, is that norm? Is that how I'm supposed to look? It's just kind of like mind boggling, I guess. Um, but yeah, like I said, I was bullied a lot in middle school um, because I because I was different and it wasn't necessarily because I was disabled because there was another kid in our class who had diabetes. It was because he could run with the other kids, play tag, all that fun stuff. Um, I couldn't run and play tag. They always tagged me and then I couldn't get anyone out. So that was fun. They just ran around me like I was nothing. <laughs> um, I also got left behind a lot, um, because there was another building that we had to walk to for some of our classes, um, that was far away from me. And up until sixth grade, I had used this nurse's wheelchair to get to that building because it was, I'm gonna say, 120 feet away from our building. Um, it could have been longer, but I just, back of my mind, tried to do the math and how long it was. <laughs> so and you might not think that's a long distance, but from the walking video, um, when I was younger, so sixth grade, I was even worse back in middle school because I was like really hunched over, like my nose could hit the desk I was sitting at, quite honestly. Um, and my legs were a lot worse. So walking that distance, cause, cause my, um, my sixth grade teacher took away the wheelchair and said, no, you need to walk. So I had to walk to that building um, with my classmates. And even though I had been assigned helpers um, which were my classmates, they always left me behind because I walked so much slower than everybody else. Um, they wanted to talk with their friends and they couldn't when they're with me. You know, they had to help me instead and I'm like tracing behind everybody else in line. So they just ran up to the front of the line and left me 99% of the time. I got dragged across the gym floor once by a friend of mine because I tripped and fell and she wanted to get to lunch fast so she grabbed my arm and pulled me across the gym floor and I had shit all in my hair. That was fun. Um, high school wasn't much better um, cause I mean I made friends. I had more friends than I did in middle school so that definitely helped. Um, I had more mobility aids in high school, and I think that's the other thing. In middle school, I didn't have mobility aids besides my AFOs, um, ankle foot orthotics. They're just these long things. I'm, I'm going to probably put a picture of them up. Um, 
because I can't really explain them well. And also in high school, I had forearm crutches. Um, I had an aid um, to like carry my book bag because my therapist said yeah, I have lordosis, which is like this curvature of the spine like this way. It's like scoliosis, but the opposite direction. I don't know how to explain it. Um, so I can't carry more than like five pounds on my back. Otherwise, it's not good. It's not pretty. It's painful. Um, and a lot of the times it was just people saying like, oh, I want to have people carry my books for me. You know, I'd want, I want to have an aid and do things for me and let me leave early. Let me do this. Let me do that. I'm like, these aren't privileges. These are things that I need to be on the equal playing field at school. Like, it was very annoying that people didn't understand that this isn't something that would benefit them. It benefits me because it makes it easier on me. That just makes them lazy. I don't, I know that sounds rude, but like, it's like an able-bodied person using those mobility carts that they give you in shopping places or at grocery stores. And it's like, why? Just why? Or handicap spots. A lot of people say, I wish I could park in the handicap spot. Why? Don't do it. Oh my god. You don't understand. Especially me, because um, cause I can walk. Um, if I have to park um, far in, at the far end of the parking lot, then I'm not going to be able to go to the mall. Because by the time I get to the front of the building, I'm going to be really tired and not have any energy to walk around because my legs are going to be shaking. Um, but to get back to high school, um, yeah, I've, I've had to whack a few people <laughs> for saying rude things. Um, crippled was one people thought they could use, like a word they thought they could say to me, like, oh, hey, crippled, let's go, you know, come on, walk, walk faster or something. And I'm just like, you wouldn't say the N word to a black person. So why would you say the the c word to me like what how do you not realize that that's offensive what the f so that's yeah um and then i transferred because i moved to arizona um so i live across the country now from where i originally was and this kid would always ask me why do you need a wheelchair if you can walk who are you pushing the wheelchair for blah 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 because um, my therapist told me to use my walk my um, wheelchair kind of like as a walker sometimes so I could still have support and walk and not have to sit all the time and have my muscles atrophy. So he would constantly get at me, you know, saying like, oh, I don't, you don't really need a wheelchair. You're, you're tricking people. Um, that was annoying. I wanted to punch him in the face so many times. Um, I also had people make, both in New Jersey and here, I had people make this skeet skeet noise. What the f*** is that? What is that? What is that? Is that the noise you think wheelchairs make? Because it's not. At all. So it was just very annoying to have people say that and like, oh, you're a wheelchair. Ha ha ha. What the fuck? That's not funny. Um, I mean, like, if I, if someone walked up to me with a pill and said, here, this will cure your stroke palsy, I would take it. I definitely would take it. Um, I don't know if I necessarily would want to take back the last few years of my life because I think that has given me, you know, insight as into like what disabled people have to deal with, obviously, because if I took the pill, then I'd be able bodied. Um, but it's not like autism or something where it's like oh this is who I am I'm not me without this um would I be a different person without cerebral palsy definitely I would have had a lot of different interests if I could participate in sports and stuff like that um I'm like I can to an extent I just you know there are Paralympic sports and stuff like that um I do do like horseback riding and stuff, but I could never join the softball team. I could, I always was the worst in gym class. Um, that was another thing. I got really upset 
one time because when I was graduating in eighth grade, they gave me the, um, I think I still have it, the award for best sportsmanship in gym class. And I was insulted because it's like, oh, give the disabled kid the award. Um, I guess my dad tried to say like that the reasoning was because, you know, I tried, I probably tried the hardest in that class to be normal, I guess, um, and, and work like the other kids worked. Um, but at the time I was just very annoyed because this one kid kept getting all the damn awards and the person who actually bullied me throughout all of high school got the religious award because um, it was a Catholic high school, or middle school, sorry. Um, and I was just like, really? Really? Okay, 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 whatever. Um, <laughs> so I was mad. I was mad about that. Um, <laughs> and just all the other ableist, I, I'll use the word ableist, um, in accessible places, handicap buttons in places I can't reach, handicap stalls, mm, I can't go to the bathroom half the time because I can't open the door um, to the bathroom. And, and sometimes the stall even, the handicap stall is too small for a wheelchair and you're just like, who made this? Did they ask a disabled person? What the? Or like getting into the mall, um, doors that aren't automatic, heavy doors, doors with uh, narrow um, door frames. What the? I can't get into here. What? Why? Why? Or if they do have an automatic button, sometimes they'll open really slowly, <laughs> but then they'll close as soon as you get through the door. Like, in the, it's like if, if I was standing up, it hit me in the back. Like, okay, that's not a good design. <laughs> so it's just like, does anyone ask a disabled person how this works? Does this, does this even accommodate you? No, no, they don't. Um, one thing I have been excited about, though, is when I'm in my wheelchair at the malls out here, they actually have an accessibility button for directories. And I was like, hell yeah, I love this. I might go to the Scottsdale Mall this afternoon, so I might try to do some filming from like, um, what, like, it's like to sit in a wheelchair, like, cause it's gonna be a lot lower. <laughs> so I'm hoping maybe I can film that directory, film the doorways I'm talking about and stuff, um, elevators, um, and if they don't work, and the, the signs that are on them sometimes, like, if the elevator breaks, like, take the stairs, you need the exercise anyway. Ha 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 ha. Funny. Um, so that's all I could really think of for now. If you have any other questions, I definitely want to hear them. I definitely want to ed educate you guys more on what it's like to have to do a policy. I want to do more like going out into the world videos. So I want to film being at the mall. I'm going to try and film the college campus tomorrow because I have orientation. Um, and there is a handicap button I can't get to. So that's funny. Um, so yeah, we'll just see if this works out. All right. Bye guys.